welcome to Monday Night Live with the Home Team. My name is Lauren, and this is the Home Team. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Welcome to Mondays where I yell at you. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow! It's great to see you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Uh, yep. Uh, that's some forceful pointing. Uh, <laughs> so, so if it's uh, if it's your first time with us here on Monday Night Live with uh, Planet Ed, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of how it goes. Uh, basically, we're going to have an opener. Uh, tonight we have a fantastic stand-up as our opener. Uh, and then we're going to have uh, a video portion of the show. And then in the second half of the show, the home team will improvise for you. But sadly, the home team does not have a name. Uh, we just can't seem to make one stick. So um, we need you guys uh, to name us in the comment section. You need to get your fingers typing. Uh, and, and, and yep, there you go. Everybody give your example of what it looks like to type a name in there. there. Oh, Dave, I like your style. Uh, but <laughs> type in a name. Uh, and if your name is chosen as our name for this evening, uh, you will win a fabulous. 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 Right. Woo. All right. So uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna bring on our first guest, uh, and everybody stay out here. We're gonna chat for a minute, um, but we're gonna welcome on. Uh, uh, let's just bring him on, Brett Mercer. Yeah. <laughs> you might recognize Brett Mercer uh, from his own live stream show, Big Time Garbage, which is on ten thirty every night, or maybe not every night. You probably have some nights free, but. Uh, <laughs> It's usually Monday through Friday. We don't want. To. Okay, so yeah, you're five. You're five nights a week. That's pretty regular. That's like that's like a, it's like a job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, how's everybody doing this week? Anything new? <laughs> no. No. All right. <laughs> Absolutely nothing new. Absolutely not. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Brett, do you know everybody here? Do you know the home team? I believe I've met everybody here, but if I haven't, nice to meet you. Hi, Brett. <laughs> they all have their names there, so. Uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Anyone, anyone excited about the uh, inauguration? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, excited is yeah. the right word, I don't think. But, uh, yeah. Nervous. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> preparing for civil war. Uh, <laughs> Has anyone, yeah, uh, protected their house from uh, possible attack? <laughs> I'm moving in a week and a half. If they want to tear this place down. All right. <laughs> I, I or this line of questioning took a real dark yeah, turn. That's the yeah. That's where the first place are gonna go. Let's be let's be real here. They what attack the capital. The next the next step is going to Pete Jacob's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Andy, you lawyer. don't know how, you don't know how how important I might actually be to the the well being of this government. We've never uh, had that. I, I you know I don't know what you've been doing these last nine months. Have you been working for Dominion? No, I mean I'm just asking the questions. <laughs> What's your all right, with Hugo Chavez. We need that. This is all going on JRE clips at YouTube. <laughs> all right, so I, I'm okay. I'll 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 answer. I'm Q. I am Q. <laughs> there it is. My God. Um. Well, now we're going to change the subject to Brett. Uh, so Brett, uh, Brett is a uh, is a stand up uh, and a fantastic one at that. You might have seen him around uh, the Independent or uh, around the Ant Properties <laughs> when we were all seeing each other in person. Uh, what else do you have? I mean, I know you're doing big time garbage. What else do you have going on uh, these days, Brett? Uh, not much. Hanging out on the couch a lot, watching a lot of uh, TV. <laughs> I uh, got some a couple of projects in the works. Working on a uh, stand-up special for a buddy of mine. Uh, okay. Working on a couple different video projects. You know, just trying to stay busy. That's cool. It's really it's mostly the stream that that is taking up most of my creative brain power. So yeah, I hear it. Yeah, five nights a week. That's a that's a like I said, it's a jab. <laughs> 
As yeah. much as going to open mics every night was a job, it yeah. just kind of took the place of that. Oh, you, yeah. You have to be proud It feels of good to be getting drunk and being like, yeah, this is work. I'm working right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> four, more, four more shows a week than Saturday Night Live does. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's impressive, man. Uh, <laughs> Lauren could uh, never. And, and, and you've recorded a set for us this evening, correct? Uh, I did. It was... Uh, it's it's a little bit different than my usual stand up comedy. You'll you'll see why very shortly. But yeah, I shot it today. It was it was fun to make. Can't wait to to show the world. All right, I think I think we're ready to show it. So let's uh, let's see Brett's stand up. Uh oh. Brett, quick, do the voice. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, so is anybody here from out of town? Uh, <laughs> um, what, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, geez. We, uh, we, we, will, we will take care of this. <laughs> Party. Um, we sh we share did my not screen. <laughs> Does it not have audio because we have our audio? It looks funny. <laughs> it's funny that somebody's driving a car and talking in a microphone at the same time. <laughs> Those two things don't usually happen at the same time. Well, <laughs> it's just painfully quiet, guys. <laughs> Hi, I, my, I, well, my mic was muted, so I, I, I thought I was talking to you guys this whole time. Uh, sorry, Brett. Uh, Brett is saying some very funny stuff. We're gonna we're gonna uh, figure out this technical difficulty. Although, Brett, actually, uh, if you're able to share it, maybe we'll just have you do that for now, so that we. Uh, I apologize. I mean, Brett <laughs> might have done it on purpose. It's a pretty good bit. <laughs> yeah. I noticed yeah. there was some pretty good product placement going on in there. <laughs> the microphones are car. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think Parker's giving it another shot. Yeah. So, anything else interesting happening? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I got something. I actually uh, earlier today I watched a video with no sound. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. What did you okay. do? I made so one good. of them. <laughs> <laughs> it, Brett, I was the microphone a... was the microphone plugged into the car when you did the? <laughs> oh yeah. I'll be honest. This new normal's got me all topsy turvy. I don't know where it goes where. <laughs> What goes? That's the problem. You got to plug the microphone into the cigarette. Into the later. cigarette later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows you got to plug the mic into the cigarette later. Yeah. The aristocrat. Do you guys remember in the Goofy movie when Goofy uses the cigarette later to cook a can of SpaghettiOs? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Do you think that would really work? It would take a really long time. Yeah. I, I was watching that up there. Like years. I'm thinking that's not gonna be a good dinner. That's gonna be a room temperature spaghetti. No. <laughs> you can wrap up stuff in tin foil and put it under the hood, and it'll he, cook it. Though he also, oh, yeah, yeah. he also uh, bit the can open with his two big front teeth, and that always really bothered me as a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a trigger. It's you like you shouldn't uh, bite metal. You shouldn't. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that before. Don't bite metal. Don't bite right. metal. Yeah, I've bitten to aluminum foil. I still get, the, like, it makes me cringe thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that just if you have, like, old-fashioned fillings? Or if it's just, like, because I've had oh, them, like, me. for so long. I don't know. Should we try yeah, it too. right now? Everybody go get <laughs> some a test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, people came to the show tonight for comedy. They didn't know they were going to get an education. We're going to plan of dentistry. One on one. Live tricks. It, uh, Brett, when are you, are you able? You're able to share the video with, with your screen. 
<laughs> yeah, I've got my screen, my screen shared over here. I'm not sure if somebody has to put it up or whatever. Oh, that I might. Yeah, I can put it up. So let, we're going to try this again with sound. Ooh. Fingers crossed. All right. No sound. And now it's choppy. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry, Brett. <laughs> this is un, uh, this is un, uh, well, I oh, I because I, I didn't get to watch all of it. I was going to say it's unprecedented. So if you could watch the video, you would know that's a uh, that's a bit. <laughs> yeah, this is entirely without preview. precedent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this has been a lot of fun, though. What we did, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Placement of it. yeah. <laughs> did you click share sound when you sh when? Uh, God. Uh, and viewers at home, just keep typing in names for the home team. <laughs> All of them are going to be like, Brett's video like, has no sound. There's not an <laughs> insignificant number of people watching us have technical issues right now, folks. This is incredible. We uh, yeah we had technical is issues last week. Well, that was we just weren't streaming to everywhere. We were only on YouTube. Uh, now we're oh wait okay I think we think we got it. This is a this is a triumph for the ages. All right, let's try oh this God. again. <laughs> hey, this is fun. I'm enjoying. It's, it's about the journey, guys. I'm telling you, it's um, fun. I know it's fun. <laughs> has, has this ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. What's up? Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to my car. So this is going to be a weird set because I'm usually, uh, when, usually when I perform, I'm not uh, operating a vehicle. But you know, unprecedented times call for unprecedented uh, measures. It's a little word, huh? Unprecedented. I feel like that word really had a good year this year. Unprecedented. <laughs> It was in every single commercial, every single public statement by all these big companies and stuff. I feel like if you bought stock in the word unprecedented in early 2020, you're a made man these days, my guy. I'll tell you what. Shit, cop. <laughs> that wasn't it people oh, there it <laughs> it's, like, it's not over <laughs> i like how pete's just it's gone unprecedented times it's important to stick together kush king bong cleaner solution this whole the last 10 months have been extremely strange i feel like i've been a part of a government study on whether or not weed can get boring <laughs> and uh the answer may shock you no it does not get boring I find new ways to love weed every couple of hours. The dispensaries now, the dispensaries are all over. They uh, deliver the weed to your house in a big van that says, a drug addict lives in your community. It feels like that. That's what it feels like it's saying. It's very out in the open. I also like that you can shop for different strains online because I saw that they were selling a strain called OG Donald Trump. I ordered it, I smoked it, and... I tried to see if Dark Side of the Moon would sync up with a failing economy. <laughs> it made me wonder if there were like uh, any other kind of strains named after politicians, like maybe like a Joe Biden Kush. You know, you smoke it, you forget where you are, you shit your pants. You, you get so high, you start to think that a public option is a proper response to a bloodthirsty for profit Medicare system. <laughs> Already turn the other way. Have you, ever, have you ever done this? Have you ever spilled your bong on your carpet so many times in a row you think, geez, I should just fill my bong with carpet cleaner? You know, skip the middleman. How many times have you looked at a carpet full of bong water thinking, damn, I wish this was already carpet cleaner? Uh, I'm on the, uh, I'm actually on the weed pen these days. The weed pen is great. It takes hours to spill, but it can still spill. So check your pockets. If you're not familiar, a weed pen is a little device that has a button on it and if you hold the button down and you inhale for five seconds to 60 seconds it doesn't matter you're just high for the rest of your life it seems my my weed pen has a special function on it where if you hit the button three times and then you take a draw 
it turns everybody around you into a cop. Anybody. It could be, it could be anybody with slightly more authority than I hold. It's a cop. I can tell it's a, if I hit it when I'm driving, any car behind me with extra shit sticking out becomes a cop, you know, anything. It could be a bike rack. It could be a security guard with lights on the top of the car. Just like, ah, hide it. Ah, they don't just give those lights out to anybody. Ah, hide it. They want to be a cop. You know, it could be a, it could be an ambulance. I'm just like, they're friends with the cops. They're going to tattle on me with the, and they're going to tattle on me. Their next softball game. A referee. It could be a, an employee of Foot Locker. You know, I'm just like, hide it. Sport cops. I remember, you know how like when you're driving in your car, like in, you're listening to a song on the radio and it has sirens in it and you get kind of freaked out. You're like, oh, fuck, do I have meth on me? Like, are my plates expired? Something like that. I wonder if athletes feel that same sensation when they hear songs with whistles in them. Like they get all freaked out. They're like, oh, was I roughing the passer? You know, do I have any delay of game in my pocket? You know, but it was just the cha-cha slide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, what the hell? <laughs> This is the first time I've ever been heckled by a closed road. I've been heckled by a lot of stuff before. In fact, I am Detroit's most heckled comedian. I've been heckled by friends, enemies, trains, uh, dogs. Got heckled by a dog once. I got heckled by myself one time, actually. It's tough because usually a big problem with doing stand-up behind the wheel is uh, I can't, I can't go into the crowd. I can't roast the crowd for anything. I can't be like, hey. You in the front row, nice shirt. Where did you, you get at the, the fucking dumpster behind the bad clothing emporium? I show you the things I'm roasting out of my front window here. But boy, is there a lot of stuff to roast. Yeah, look, it's a graffiti. Nice graffiti, asshole. Where did you fucking learn how to write? Hope everyone had a good new year. I know I did. My I have... Hope you guys are sticking with your New Year's resolutions. Uh, my New Year's resolution this year was the same as it's been for the last five years. Uh, lose to Mitch McConnell in a dying contest. My New Year's resolution didn't go too hot last year. Uh, last year, my New Year's resolution was to find a cure for the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 that causes the COVID-19 disease that will cause a pandemic and Furthermore, a lockdown that will affect a lot of things. I was off. I was off by one glucose. I had it all, but I said no glucose, and then I gave up. Turns out the last ingredient I needed was just a little bit of glucose. Good to be here. My name's Brett. Not a great name, Brett. Not a, there's not too many good Bretts out there. I like to think of myself as a as good of Brett as I possibly can be. But to be honest, the bar is extremely low. I share a name, of course, with Noted rapist Brett Ratner, uh, noted rapist Brett Kavanaugh, uh, noted murderer Brett Hankinson, the guy from who murdered Breonna Taylor, who is not charged with murder. He's charged with something called wanton, 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 wanton endangerment or something like that. Doesn't that sound like what Donald Trump calls the pandemic? <laughs> you know, not a lot of good Bretts out there. I felt bad about that until I learned of uh, another guy I share a name with. Not my first name, my last name, actually. I share a last name with a guy named Robert Mercer. Now, if you're not familiar with Robert Mercer, he is a uh, Nazi billionaire who is spending money to make you a Nazi. Fucking Nazi. Spending money to make people storm the Capitol, read Breitbart. He's a... He's an evil fucking guy. One of the most evil people in America. But he's not like, he's not like a super well-known evil guy. He's not like on the Mount Rushmore of evil people next to like Voldemort, Henry Kissinger, my math teacher from third grade or whatever. You know, he's like, he's underground. He's like a He's like an evil guy that only the fucking real evil heads know about. But, you know, I'm hoping he doesn't have a good year this year. I'm, ho I'm hoping he doesn't blow up to the point where he's, like, synonymous with evil. You know, like, like Hitler is today. If he, if he becomes the guy that's known for being evil, then I'm walking around like a guy I called, like, Hey, uh, uh, Todd Hitler here. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, pl oh, please don't make the connection. It's, it's, uh, oh shit. Or, or, uh, oh, hey, my name's Frank Pol Pot or something. Or, 
or, or uh, oh, hey, my name's uh, Greg the Terrible. I don't know if you, do you remember uh, Ivan the Terrible from uh, history class. I didn't, I didn't know who he was until I uh, started researching evil people for a, for a joke I was writing. But apparently this Ivan the Terrible was pretty terrible. Here's how terrible Ivan the Terrible was. He was so terrible that uh, the nickname stuck. <laughs> For like 4,000 years, the nickname just stuck. <laughs> could you imagine having a nickname go for that fucking long? Like, could you imagine if, you, if people were still calling you the nickname that they called you in high school? People would still be calling me Dr. Eats Pussy Too Good. You know, that's what they used to call me in high school. That's the thing about high school. You eat one pussy too good and everyone knows you for that. And they'll never fucking let it go. I gotta ask, is this a defund the police crowd or is this more of a an abolitionist group? I think it's fun that the word defund has gotten so popular, even when it doesn't really apply to the situation. Like, for example, I saw a bumper sticker that says defund Antifa. I don't know if they looked on their paycheck and saw that a percentage was taken to, to give to some anarchist fighting fascism. But because of the fact that abolish the police isn't as popular, they didn't go with abolish Antifa. They just want to take some of Antifa's resources and use it for maybe uh, drug addiction counseling or, or a social worker. Maybe a social worker can come by and try to deplatform Nazis. All right, well, I'm about to be home. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> thanks everyone thanks thank you that was awesome. <laughs> thank you i i'm so sorry about the te technical difficulties but what a fucking awesome set that was <laughs> what technical difficulties? i know <laughs> uh yeah. thanks I for sticking it was more of a technical <laughs> overture yeah. <laughs> and I was starting to get used to like, I, like so I, I've done it before where I like watched a video and realized like, oh, I'm actually like, it, it's, I, it, it's not supposed to be stuttering like this where I'm like, I just think it's the style of it. But I'm like, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, I was getting used to the style. The it was a really good artistic <laughs> choice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. <laughs> It was stuttering for you guys? Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, not the sound, just the uh, visual. No, it's great. No, the jokes were all very clear, and that's the important part. So, <laughs> yes. No, that was so awesome. Thank, thank you so much uh, for uh, sticking with us, Brett, and, uh, and going on Absolutely. this journey with us. <laughs> um, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, we, we appreciate you being on. And um, so, yeah, wa watch big time garbage yeah. um monday through friday 10 30 is that that's the time is that right 10 o'clock oh 10 o'clock sorry sorry T 10 o'clock um and then i know you said you had like a, a special you work on them but you may not have information on that yet do you have anything else you want to plug right now <laughs> uh just be on the lookout for more stuff i mean we'll, we we also got the podcast if you if uh the, a podcast is your more preferred way of wow. listening to th uh, three gentlemen talk about the issues of facing the world in a in an you know in an important way mm -hmm. check it out on wherever you get podcasts sweet big time garbage thank you yeah thank you so much brett oh, <laughs> oh look at their shot <laughs> my good brett love you <laughs> Bye, brett. <laughs> Uh, you missed our technical difficulty, Sean. So yeah, uh, I, I saw the end of it. I was here for a minute. Uh, so, uh, but but luckily we did we did get to uh, see the set and it was amazing. Um, but I only see one name submission in our comments right now. So um, I think you guys need to give people examples of names. What are some uh, names? Uh, if, like you were to name the home team. Yeah, um, uh, uh, George Thorogood uh, Marshall Gang. Okay, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Uh, how about like smooth video? Smooth video. <laughs> what we're known for. Uh, smooth video. Yeah, you can go uh, any way you want with it. You can make a weird pun or you can just say something really weird and obtuse and stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, exactly. fill that comment. Technical simp simplicities. I, Technical simplicities. If, uh, 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 there's uh, there's one gentleman who, who does improv, uh, Adam Herzl, who 
every single time he's ever come to a Monday night at Planet Ant, he is his uh, name. The home team suggestion is Doctor Poop Knuckles. <laughs> he puts that in the box every single time he comes to the theater. So you could do something dumb like that. Yeah. <laughs> have we ever have we ever been? But Doctor Poop Poop Knuckles? No, no, no. But I used to like just, when I stage manage, I would like go through and see people's things just for fun. And every time I've ever seen one of his slips, it's always Dr. Poop Knuckles. I don't think it's ever been said. <laughs> well, well, if you've ever had a poop knuckle, you'll be very glad that you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so on that note, um, <laughs> on the note of poop knuckles, uh, actually on the note of, you know, people that we used to see all the time and uh, part of people, members of the Planet Ant community, um, our next uh, video is a, like a short film sketch um, by Moni Jones, uh, who is... Uh, uh, part of our Planet Ant family. She's, uh, she's done shows at the Ant um, and, and lots of other things that I'm like uh, forgetting about right now. I'll think about them while, she, while the video's playing. But but there's also, uh, I love this video because it, there's also a lot of other familiar faces. I was watching it earlier today and I was like, oh, <laughs> friends I haven't seen in a long time. So um, let's take you to this, uh, this short by Moni Jones. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. With it's sound. first week in his big boy bed and he's been such a turd about going to sleep. <sighs> Ooh, speaking of turds, have you heard from Patrick? Nope. I just can't figure it out. It's like I sleep with a guy too soon, he breaks up with me. I hold out and then sleep with him, he breaks up with me. But really, it's always the same scenario. Things will be going great, flowers, texts, Patrick even took me to New Orleans, and then shortly after I started having sex with a guy, it's over. It's like, am I doing sex wrong? <laughs> Please, if you're doing anything at all, you're doing way more than I've done with Brian in the last seven years. Mm. I wish I was married and comfortable. I think I could play an excellent dead fish. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Katie Lawson's boyfriend broke up with her this weekend. What? Yeah. Isn't that like the 10th guy to break up with her this year? Yeah, pretty much. But I've heard it's because she's got a small foot. What? <laughs> she's got a small I, foot. I heard you. <laughs> I'm just not understanding how they can possibly have an effect on anything is all. I mean, surely you've heard how a guy's size is um, very important to give pleasure to a woman. And um, well, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> okay, so like a large clit is, um, it's like a take charge clit. You know, and what Katie is dealing with there, I mean, it's probably just too non-confrontational. I mean, you don't think that's the reason you're having trouble keeping a man, do you? No. I mean, I think mine's big. Sweetheart, you wouldn't have to think about it. I mean, you just know. I have to like sidestep my, you know, it's so huge. It just gets in the way. Oh my God, when Brian and I first started dating, just to show off, I would wrap mine around his dick while we had sex. It was like he was in two vaginas at once. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I once wrapped mine around like two or three times. Sidestepping. I just, I hate it so much. A large clit's a take charge clit. Oh, 
oh shit, this is it. This purse just screams, this bitch has a long clit. Mine's getting swollen just looking at it. Dang, with this bad boy, I'm gonna be sidestepping like a jazz dancer in no time. I would like to purchase this, please. You know this kind of looks like a... Mm. Very classy purse. Yeah. I thought so too. But not like too classy. Like the girl who owns this purse is full of surprises. She's got some big equipment and she knows how to use it. Is it working already? My pheromones must be changing. Oh. That's um, thousand dollars. Oh, that's how much it costs. I mean, <laughs> I just figured us long clits or big C's, as I like to say, needed a way of outwardly showing the world, thank you, who we are. Wow, I mean, I, I guess I've never felt the need to outwardly communicate that, but um, Usually people who do that or buy stuff like this, they're just trying to compensate for something else. I never heard that. Hello? Are you okay? Fine. Just got stood up for the millionth time is all. And the ukulele? Oh, my. I play here sometimes. He said he was gonna come see me. And he wrote a song for him. It's your clit, isn't it? How, how did you? How is this? Even a thing. <laughs> I mean, I just found out about my condition and I still can't wrap my brain around it. I mean, I knew that boobs were a thing, right? And that is even confusing because it's like they're there to produce milk for babies. How does that translate to sexy in, in the clit? Its purpose is to, I don't know, not change into a penis in the womb. I mean, how does the size of that depict whether or not you are sexually awesome? It doesn't, is the point. Play me that song you wrote for that idiot. Okay. <laughs> the 
my small part like a pert small penis men do when they buy a fancy car. But the answer's not a personal ride, the answer's in our hearts. Please listen to it. I still want to be noticed like anyone. Got a cheery disposition and I've heard a lot of fun. Only someone could see past my small penis. Wow. <laughs> so much clit talk. <laughs> yes, I am not defined by my clit. I hope you guys were also empowered by that video. Yeah. <laughs> it's very wholesome. Yes. It is. It is very wholesome. Mm-hmm. Thank you so uh, much, you Tony Jones. <laughs> Herbst, you're muted. You're muted. Oh. Did you want to talk about clits too? <laughs> I, I feel like he has a lot to say. <clears throat> I think he does. <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody has a lot to say about the clitoris, I think it's David Herb. I like he to think of myself as somewhat of an expert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we, we go, go too far down that road, uh, thank you so much, Tony Jones, for that video. Uh, it was so great uh, just to see so many members of the community. And it was, we saw Mr. Darren Shell. Shelton uh, in there, he's a little playing a bartender. We saw we saw the ghost light, uh, and yeah, and there was a lot of clit talk. Uh, so maybe that will influence our set a little bit. <laughs> I'm not demanding. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but speaking of a set, we need to pick our name and get to our set. We're uh, we're running behind because of technical difficulties that we had. So uh, we're gonna have a tight tight set, but that's all right. Uh, all right, somebody give me a number between I think one to three. Two. Two. <laughs> Two. All right, tight ride. <laughs> that yeah. is our name for tonight. Tight ride. <laughs> There's a theme going on here. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, we are now Tyrod! Woo! <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, let's all get some suggestions. So uh, get your fingers typing. Type in in the section in the comment section uh, some uh, suggestions for us. Um, for me, I'm going to ask you, uh, what is the, the name of a beer that doesn't exist? The name of a beer that doesn't exist. 
All right, I'll ask for uh, <laughs> what, what, uh, what's a non sexual innuendo? Mm. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know if you realize what you asked for. <laughs> I don't know, I have no uh, idea. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> Uh, I would like to know what Bob Ross used to like to do when he wasn't painting on TV. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Um, it, what is something that if you found it on the street, you would poke it with your finger? <laughs> Ooh. I don't think uh, what, uh, <laughs> what is uh, a boring job for the hero of an action movie to have? Okay. How about this? <laughs> what if uh, if you had to work at a factory, but you could choose whatever kind of factory it was, what does that factory make? Wow. Factory. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, I see Sunbud was the first suggestion I saw. So, <laughs> Sunbud, we take you to Sunbud. <laughs> God, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, I can't scrub off the film from me. This whole situation is maddening. Your, your mother and I just need you to clean up. We, we, we're just. We're, we're down to one bath a week, all right? Please, please clean up. Please. I'm trying, but it's just not working. This is not my friend. It's not scrubbing enough. Oh. My heart can't take this. You're too old to be putting up this kind of fluff every time we try to get you to scrub up and clean up. Yeah, scrub up and clean up for fluff. Come on. It's not fun for me, okay? I try to live a fun lifestyle. And I just... <laughs> Your father and I are trying to also live a fun lifestyle. And we are just breaking down. We haven't spoken to each other in like a week. This is I, the first time we've been in the same room. When, when you were born, the first thing that your mother said to me was... <sighs> I really can't take it if we end up with the stinky kid. I really can't take it if we end up with the stinky kid. You I, put it your I don't want it. It's not my fault. I stink so much. I can't scrub it off. You guys are making me fight against my natural disposition. I'm supposed to be dirty and stinky and fun. You're just spreading the stink around. You're getting more stinky. I had to I put the couch in the garage. That was a good couch. I'm going to stay with my mother. Don't leave me with her. What? Oh Diane, please don't leave me with her. Oh, I'm going. You I'm going to my mother's house in Brazil. <laughs> your mother's uh, what, going you're to stop me? No. What? You're driving you your mother to Brazil. You want to come with me to Brazil, honey? Me? Me? Mm -hmm. No. No. Not the Wait. stinky kid, but ah. my love of my life. If you commit my to be beautiful husband, I, I, I mean, I, yes, I do. I, I, I can't take this anymore. She doesn't listen to us. Good. She doesn't clean Good. up. Her room's a mess. Does this mean I get the whole house to myself? Yes, yeah. until it's sold. Yes, get until out. We sell get it. out, go, get out, go now. Okay. I, all right, I'm I'm out of here. Wow, then. I'm out of here. Wow, what a turnaround! What? What? She what? A, here. How? What's that, hon? She I'm sorry. She she wants to live in her filthy stink. Uh, uh -huh. Without uh, being stinky is more important to her than having parents. So I think we just got to get out of here. You're a real Oscar the stink grouch, is what you are. Maybe I am. Look at you. Everyone hates. Pig pen. He's mm -hmm. the worst peanut. And mm -hmm. you're choosing to be pig pen right now. Well, there are so many stinky characters in popular children's media. I don't know how this happened. And they all suck. Think about you who you've chosen as heroes. Pig pen. Mm -hmm.
Well, maybe I'm going to be the first stinky mm -hmm. character that people love. You're a child. You're not a character. <laughs> Uh, let's go with eating pudding. That's uh, that's my pudding, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. We, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call a timeout here. Okay. Uh. You signed an agreement when I said, hey, come live with me. I remember. As my roommate. And right at the top of that list is you don't eat my pudding. I don't see your name on it. Okay. I purchased pudding and you did not purchase pudding. I purchased Fig Newtons and you went to town on them. So... On my pudding. To be fair, two things. First, Fig Newtons are not even on the list. Second of all, the list listed things that I have that you cannot eat. You gave me no such list. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry. So you're allowed to make caveats to the, the roommate agreement, but I'm not? Roger was very clear. I am paying $1 more a month. I am the emperor of this apartment. All right, here's a dollar. I'm going to have a pudding. Okay. Now the deal is changed. We are on equal footing. Are you? I want to enjoy this pudding. No, you're not. You're going to fight me to enjoy that pudding. <clears throat> Hurt, Roger. Yeah. It hurt my nose. Yeah. You know, I have a very pointy nose. I have yeah. very hard cartilage in my nose, Roger. <sighs> my nose can ow. My nose could not take these kinds of blows, Roger. Then let me have your pudding. I can't smell. I can't smell. The butterscotch has completely escaped my nose, Roger. That's that's Why that sounds like a you. Dad, you started it, bud. No, I don't start, start crying. You started, you started it. it when you had a drinking problem and your wife kicked you out. And I told okay. you, okay, okay, let's back up the blame truck. Who took me to the bar that night? I, I believe I invited. I don't remember. I believe I invited you to go to the bar that night. That's right. And I believe it was I... my idea to do the shots. Yep. And I believe it was my idea to call your boss at two in the morning and tell him that he's a fucker. Yeah. You suggested it. And I was just drunk enough to do it. He played that voicemail for the whole office the next day. <laughs> Don't. Sorry. Don't. Do you know how embarrassing it is to hear yourself mispronounce the word fucker in a voicemail? It's pretty well, rough. <clears throat> okay, be all of that as it may. I'm going to let this one cup of Jello brand pudding slide. We all know what type of pudding it is, Phil. Even though it is butterscotch, which is my favorite. There's four other uh, jars of these bad boys in the fridge. Have that one. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with snowboarder. You better be ready to fucking shred today, bro. 
Oh, I'm ready, bro. I'm just getting my makeup on. Hell yeah. Juggalo snowboarders. I'm so happy I found some a like-minded soul to get out there with clone paint on the fresh powder. Woo, 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 woo. Family. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, do you like the way that I'm doing my new cat face? It's terrifying, bro. Like, honestly, you're taking it to a whole new level where you're almost like smashing together ICP and KISS in a really groundbreaking way. That's what I wanted to hear. But I think that we have a responsibility. Snowboarders that are in and that are down with the clown that have hatchet man tattoos on their calves, I think we have a responsibility to be a little bit different than everybody else. Yeah. That's what this is all about, bro. Like, I don't want to work, you know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want a career or a nine to five. Our life is our brand, bro. We're gonna take For this shit to real. the top. I want to be the first Sean White Hatchet Man uh, tattooed, uh, you know, painted up guy. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I want to you know be, what I mean. I want to be. Famous for being the first person that dies in the X Games. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's what I want to be known for. I want to go so fucking crazy that it kills me. If I get into the X Games, I'm going to go, go berserk. I'm going to go berserk. Absolutely. You know, Quarter but pipe, I half pipe, full pipe, every pipe. I'm going to fucking lay it out until I, until something breaks or I snap. If I died doing a double pipe, I would be happy about it. Hell yeah. As long Hell as yeah. it went as long as it went on the net or something afterwards and the X game saw it or something. That's what I'm talking about, you know? You, me, ICP snowboarders, my neck breaks on the X Games, viral, hey you hey catch Jeff. in. Hey Jeff. hey Jeff. What? Uh I kind of ran out of MDMA for the weekend and I kind of don't have any cash. I got like a fucking trunk of that stuff. <laughs> Don't you worry. For real? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, tag out Mike and Andy. We're uh, here at the X Games, the tandem snowboard jump. <clears throat> We've got uh, Fago Pal 98 getting ready for this. And I I'll tell you what, Sean Payne, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what these guys have uh, in store for us. They've been bringing something special to the sport that we have not seen in we have, history. We have, not, we have not seen this sort of panache and flair for the dramatic from your traditional tandem snowboarding jump. Oh, He's, oh. oh. Yes. Oh, that's a, you did it. You did it, you crazy son of a bitch. Yes. I got one hurt. guy down. They, I, he's not moving. He there's a lot of blood, and it looks like his friend is starting to drown in his friend's blood. This is not good. There's some sort of foaming liquid pouring out from between them. Right. Oh, it. Some kind of. Oh, it smells delicious. I'll tell you that, Sean Payne. But it's it's it, got a fruity aroma to it. I'm just it, not sure it, what to make of it. Absolutely, but it does not look as good as it smells. I'll tell you that right now. I believe we're watching two men die live on ESPN X. Well, that's what we do in the X Games for. Uh, all right, uh, <laughs> let's go for uh, let's go for fur coat. I don't mean to intimidate you, boys, with my wealthy style and my debonair air, if you will. Oh, don't you? Isn't no. that exactly what you mean to do? Oh, that's what you think, isn't it? You think I'm so calculated. You think that everything I do is against you. You think it's all about you. Well, Linda. Isn't it? Is it? Who's going to answer this question? 
How about you, Jerry? What do you have to say? Well, I'm I'm willing to give you guys 10% off the purchase. Oh, if Jerry. that'll get you on your way. Don't be such a pushover. Please, we can afford so much more. Jerry, how about showing me that gold encrusted diamond plated Rolex with the fur watch band? Oh, is okay. that what you think you deserve? You think you deserve something like that? Have a look at that. <sighs> does it does it frighten you, Linda? Does it make me seem too powerful? Oh, is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to overpower me with your jewels and your fancy things? You don't think I'm fancy? You don't think I can't compete with that? You think I'm powerless, don't you? Don't you? Aren't you? You're the uh, white gold mother of pearl uh, six inch choker. Give it to me! Thank you. <laughs> it's really choking me. It's very small. I have a large neck too. <coughs> but that's just not gonna stop me. That's not gonna stop what? me from, from being powerful. <coughs> Oh, you think that gives you power, do you? Uh, well, well, Jerry, um, hand me that that fourteen carat diamond nose stud. Oh, yes. you'll 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 know what power is now, Linda. <laughs> okay. I thought that hole closed up. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. God. This is disgusting. Oh. What you won't do, what you won't do to try to overpower me. Well, it's not working. It's not working. You'll never overpower me. I'll always have power over you. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much, Linda. <laughs> yes, I'm at the Dietrich First store <laughs> with Jerry, our very kind sales attendant. Uh, wow, what a show, huh? <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? Uh, we were tight ride, and I forgot to tell the winner of tight ride, who I discovered by a little research, was Joe Becker. Uh, Joe Becker, you won. Oh, Jesus. So thank you so much. For naming us and watching us. Um, we were tight ride, but individually we are. <laughs> David. Mike. T. Andy. Sean. And Lauren. Even though you can read our names. But yes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for Brett Mercer. Uh, for your wonderful stand. Sit down, stand up, uh, and uh, thank you so much to Moni Jones uh, for Good teaching morning. us to be proud of our clitorises. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much to Parker Hammond uh, for keeping us hey, running. Uh, yeah, Parker. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much uh, to Planet Ant uh, and the whole community. Uh, what other? Watch other shows on our live stream. Uh, we got, you know, Bahama Bahama Live coming up at nine. Then we got Big Time Garbage uh, that we talked about earlier, and that's up at ten. Uh, we got so uh, many shows throughout the week. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, I, I don't know if I'm forgetting anyone. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> uh, we love you. And I think that's it. We're gonna point at you. This is how this is how we wave.